Hello everyone, uh, Todd Optional here. Um, I've had a lot of questions for quite a while on how I take a PDF file and convert it over into a usable file format. Um, either get it into uh, SketchUp or take it into another CAD suite and get it into a CAM software to be able to program for CNC usage. Um, so let's go ahead and we're just going to start with this uh, this drawing right here from flight test we have the one of my very favorite planes uh, the bloody baron um, this is the file we're going to start on uh, and I'm, ju I'm just showing it here in Adobe Acrobat what it looks like in Adobe Acrobat as a PDF uh, the first software we're going to use is going to be Inkscape um, as you can see here the file comes in identical to what you get with Adobe Acrobat. Um, so just to bring this in, uh, Inkscape is great for converting software. It's also a great graphics suite too, uh, but um, just to bring in a PDF and convert it, it's pretty easy. Just file, open, select your PDF. Here's your import screen. Uh, it's pretty easy. Your sheet one here is just your drawing key. There's no use for that. Uh, not for doing any type of G-code generation for your CNC machine. Uh, but everything else here is stock. Nothing's nothing's set. I mean, it's just the way everything is right from word go. Um, we're not going to worry about sheet one, so we're going to go ahead and click this up to sheet two. As you can see, sheet two gives us what I have in the background here. Um, I'm not going to worry about importing it, obviously, because I already have it, so I'm going to click Cancel, but you can click OK. Um, so, Cancel there. Now, nothing else really needs to be done with Inkscape. It's quite easy. We just go ahead and File, Save As, right here in the Save As type. We're going to go ahead and select our DXF file format. As you can see, I already have it saved here. One of the things I always do whenever I save a sheet out of Inkscape, I always add a sheet number. So sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, depending upon how many sheets your drawing actually is. Um, this one here, uh, fuselage, sheet 1. Uh, I'm not going to worry about saving it because uh, I already have it. So I'm going to cancel. You can go ahead and click the, uh, the save. Uh, so that's it for... Inkscape, unless you're going to go through obviously and add more sheets and whatever, but uh, that's all you have to do with Inkscape. The next piece of software that we're going to use is an older piece of software. Uh, I will post some links in the description for some of these softwares here that I'm using. Um, and I like to do things on the cheap, so um, I'm all about the free stuff, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, the next software we're going to use is going to be Google SketchUp. This is the older version, this is SketchUp 7. Um, and the reason why I use SketchUp 7, SketchUp 7 allows you to be able to import DXF files. Now, if you already paid for SketchUP and you're all good, you can bring in your DXF files, you can pretty much not worry about downloading SketchUp 7. But if you're cheap like me, and you want to bring in a DXF file into SketchUp, you're going to want to download SketchUp 7. Um, so, uh, as you can see, I already have the drawings here. It's quite easy, though. Um, obviously, we're just going to file, import, and select your DXF file, your DXF file format, and then go where your DXF files are. And you're pretty much all good to go. Uh, just click OK. I want you to go ahead and select the file, and it'll go ahead and bring it in. Um, when it imports into SketchUp, it will export it in as a group. Uh, I've had it sometimes where it just comes in as just lines, but that's not very often. There, it seems like mostly comes in as a as a group. So you're going to want to take this group, and you're going to want to explode it. Um, to go ahead and get to your individual lines. You're going to take this, these lines here and you're going to clean it up. Uh, you're going to get rid of a, lot of a lot of all the extra information that's in these drawings when you bring them in. Um, I love the way that the new plans are for 
flight test. Um, they do Dan Sponholz does some great work. He really, really does. But for doing your cuts and generating your G code, all these little lines that you see here are just not needed at all. Um, so as you can see up here at the wing, I had uh, had a had a page around it and everything at one point in time with the flight test community and all that, but I have taken it and deleted it just to show um, the information that you need to get rid of. Um, all the little dashed lines, you can take them out and turn them into just solid straight lines. Get rid of all the little hashes and hatches and all that stuff that's there. No need for it at all. Um, something I like to do too when I build flight test planes the little fold lines that you have along here um, I'll just keep them as solid lines and bring them into my cam software when I program but I don't program these um, I usually just peel the paper on the inside the top inside of the wing and when I go ahead and fold it over um, with the spar in it gives you a nice airfoil shape, a nice fold, uh, and I roll a nice, nice flowing airfoil on it without having these lines in there, uh, and I like that better, but that's just me. So um, once you have it in here in SketchUp, really this is, this is another pretty easy thing here. Um, if you want to use a more current version of SketchUp, which you're going to want to do if you're going to use uh, sketch you cam which is the extension add-in for um, SketchUp you're gonna wanna take this and you're gonna save it save as you're gonna select your your file whatever you wanna do here um, Baron sheet one just save it as that and uh, you know you can go ahead Click save. I'm going to click cancel because I already have it. Go into the more current version of SketchUp, which is SketchUp Make 2016. When you import it, as you can see here, um, I've already taken the drawings and had cleaned them up. This is what you want when you uh, want to start working with your file to start programming your tool paths. Um, either with, uh, with SketchyCam or uh, if you're going to export it into another software such as CamBam, uh, which uh, CamBam is the program that I, li I prefer to use. A lot of people like to use um, SketchyCam. Uh, it's an extension that you go to the extension warehouse and you can download or you can go right here and again I'll post the link. You can download the add-on for uh, sketchy cam right to your Google SketchUp or your, I don't think it's Google anymore but um, we'll just call it just SketchUp how's that um, you can just install it right into your SketchUp and uh, in your current version I don't have it on mine because um, I use CamBam but there's a lot of great videos out there let me go back to my web browser yeah there's a lot of great videos on YouTube just type in the uh, sketchy cam tutorial there is a lot of good useful information, some good watching uh, and figuring out how to use um, sketchy cam um, to generate all your G code. Um, if you're going to take your file like I will and I'll do it in another video I'll show I'll do I'll do a specific video just for cam bam just to show how I do things on my little tricks and everything that I like to do. Um, I've gotten uh, programming these planes down to uh, pretty much a science. Uh, it's, re it's really quick. I can usually take a, you know, even like a four or five sheet plane and have it done in probably about a half hour and ready to cut. Uh, but when you bring your uh, your drawing in from the older version of SketchUp, um, you're going to want to go through and clean up all the lines and everything, just like I did here. Um, all solid lines, don't worry about the dashed lines or anything like that, unless you want to use that for a specific reference or something like that. I don't really bother even doing that. And uh, I'll explain in the next video on how to use CamBam. But this is what uh, this is what you want, this is what you're looking for right here. Um, it's pretty easy. 
if you're going to go ahead and take this and use it into another uh, another CAM program such as SketchyCam as I was saying you're going to go ahead and click file uh, export to DXF now this is also another add-on that I've found um, through the extension warehouse uh, which is exporting to DXF or STL I use obviously just the DXF because that's what uh, CAMBAM reads um, otherwise uh, check out the other videos for SketchyCam a uh, lot of great information there SketchyCam is a great tool for uh, generating your g-code if you don't want to spend the 150 bucks for the software um, for CAMBAM it's a, a great uh, great tool to use. Now if you are interested in, in messing around with CAMBAM to see how it works I believe it has 40 free uses. Um, something I've done um, when I first started with CAMBAM I had it on my laptop and I just didn't turn my laptop off. I think I used it for probably about a good six or eight months um, before I actually purchased the software. And I, I actually prefer, um, I actually, I actually prefer CamBam. I really like it. I spent the money on it. I really, really like it. Um, there's a couple little things that could be updated on it, but you know, hey, I'm nobody, <laughs> right? So, uh, anyway, this is a good start. I hope this gets people, uh, pulling in some files and learning some stuff. Uh, more videos to come on how to program get the g-code done and uh, start cutting. I also will do a video on the types of foam that I like to use um, and the bits that I like to use. I know that's a lot of information that a lot of people have also been asking for too uh, as far as speeds, feeds and obviously different types of speed and speeds and feeds for um, the different types of foams whether it's the Dollar Tree foam or the new water resistant foam but hey that's it um, if you have any questions just go ahead and uh, ask some questions down below I'll get back to you as soon as possible and uh, don't, for don't forget to click that like button down here at the bottom alright thanks guys take care bye